Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Maths Made Easy with AB. So today in this lecture we will be discussing a very important mathematical topic which is inequality. And inside inequality we will be seeing wavy curve method. Don't worry by the name wavy curve. We will be seeing how to solve any inequality question that comes. So I'll start by taking a very simple example. I'll tell you the steps how to do that. So for example, somebody is asking you to solve x minus 1 whole square into x minus 3 is greater than 0. So the simple question is x minus 1 whole square into x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. Find the values of x for this question. So here what you have to do is you have to find the first thing that you have to do is you have to find some writing it over here you have to find critical points. So the first thing is finding critical points. So how you will get the critical points I have already discussed in many of my lectures. You have to equate this part to 0 you have to equate this part to 0. So if you equate this part to 0 what you will get you will get 1. If you equate this part to 0, what you will get? You will get x is equal to 3. So these are the critical points. So 1 and 3 becomes the critical points for these equations. And these becomes the basic fundamental for solving the question. So what you have to do? You have to draw the number line. You have to plot these two graphs. So I am drawing the number line. Uh, 1 will be here, 3 will be here. So first step is finding the critical point. Second point is you have to do what? Second, you have to plot on number line. So first point is finding critical point. Second is plotting on number line. So now let's see what will happen. So you have to take the extreme, which extreme the rightmost extreme point you have to go there and you have to draw a line like this always. So if there would have been 3, say for example, there would have been x minus 4 also included in this. So 4 would have come over here and you have, would have started from this, like this 4. Yeah, I'll give you logic why we are doing, but let us first concentrate on finding a solution for this. So now what you will do over here is you have come to 3. Now you have to check what is the coefficient of this factor. x minus 3, what is the power? This is 1, right? Nothing is there, so that is power is 1. If the power is 1, so understand. This is a straight line. Above this straight line, this is positive part. This is the upper side. And below this straight line, this is the negative part. This is minus part. Okay. So, so and you are currently on which side? You are on the plus side, on the upper side. Now, if the coefficient over x minus 3 is odd, if the coefficient over x minus 3 is odd, you have to change your side. So, you come to 3. What you do? You check the coefficient of x minus 3. It is odd. So, you will have to do what? You will have to shift your side. Simply, you shifted your side. You are on the plus side, you went to minus side, right? And so, you saw. And if the power on this is even, you will have to change your, remain on the same side. If power is odd, you will have to change your side. If power is even, you will have to remain on the same side. This is very simple. I'll teach more of this. So now from 3, what what we did at 3, power is odd. We were on the plus side. We changed side, right? Now we go, this point is 1. We have come to 1. So 1 was coming from this. The power is even. For even, you will have to remain on the same side. So I remain on the same side. Mark this. The upper side is plus. The lower side is minus. You have to mark the side. The upper side is plus. The lower side is minus. Now we will have to see if... Now you have to see the sign of the equation. It is greater than. If a greater than sign is given, you will have to take the positive part. So the positive, so these part will not be there. You have to take only the positive part. Here x will belong to 3 till infinity. This will be the answer for this inequation, the inequality. You got this question? This is very easy uh, solving this problem. Uh, if this sign is greater than equal to say for example the sign so I'll write over here if the sign is this the answer will be this if the sign would have been greater than equal to in case of equal to you have to include this point also 3 would have been included so you would have written it this way 3 included it's very easy right I'll show you what would have happened if so I'm erasing this part now and I will be showing what would have happened if the question would have been less than equal to if it would have been less than equal to so for less than equal to you would have to take the 
minus part the negative part so the negative part is this is coming through minus infinity this side if you go this is minus infinity this side if you go it is plus infinity if it would have been less than equal to then you would have taken what minus infinity till one this is one part union so the sign is equal to right so this bracket will be inclusive of that union again one till three so this is one till three this would have been the answer if this would have been less than equal to if this would have been less than what would have been your answer so, so there will be no change only this bracket will change so minus infinity till 1 1 is not included this bracket means 1 is not included union 1 till 3 both are not included but the values in between are included for the solution so this becomes the solution of this question x minus 1 whole square into x minus 3 to the power of 1 is greater than 0 so this is it let's move on to our next question so let us look into the next question uh, <clears throat> how to solve this question uh, this equation is given over here you have to find the values of x yeah so over here what you will need to do is you have got the sign the inequality sign greater than and now let the first thing that i taught you was to find the critical points yeah so here let me tell you so you have something down there right so what you have to do is x so what are the critical points so first you do check x minus 2 equals 0 this is one point x minus 4 equals 0 this is another point i'm not writing it you are getting x is equal to 2 you are getting x is equal to 4 yeah so these two are the critical points there are other critical points also over here 2x minus 1 equals 0 so you will be getting x equals plus 1 by 2 this is one critical point x minus 1 equals 0 you will be getting 1 as a critical point x minus 2 is equal to 0 you will be getting 2 as a critical point same x minus 2 is also here so there is a scope you can cancel this and this I'll, I'll tell you how you can cancel this x minus 4 equals 0 so you will get 4 as a critical point so over here you have 4 critical points half 1 2 and 4 now the downward part they have necessarily x cannot be equal to 2 x cannot be equal to 4 x cannot be equal to 2 x cannot be equal to 4 because this will form by 0 indeterminate form will be formed so you x cannot take the well x cannot x cannot take the value 2 and 4 so you have to write it down first now you can cancel it so x minus 2 x minus 2 whole square this 2 can goes cancelled and this becomes the equation so what is the equation now i'm writing the equation once again 2 x minus 1 so this is the uh, question now 2x minus 1 x minus 1 whole square x minus 2 to the power of 1 and down there you have x minus 4 to the power of 4 is greater than 0 you have to solve this question now knowing x cannot be equal to 2 and 4 however the critical points are half 1 2 and 4 already shown over here so let us draw the number line first and uh, let us plot the graph so the number line or the number line i have already taught you uh, you have to draw half you will get 1 you will get 2 you will get 4 so these were the four critical points uh, I have initially taught you I have already taught you that you have to first uh, start from this side so I am starting from this side uh, this part is plus I told you the upper part of this line is plus lower part is minus now what you will do you come to 4 what you have to do you have to check from where is this 4 coming this 4 is coming from here and this the power is even so if the power is even you have to remain on the same side so you are on the positive side you remain on the same side so you still remain on the positive side very clear over here now you have to go to 2 so 2 the power is what 1 over here so power is odd so you have to change your side you are on the plus side you have to go to the negative side this is the negative side you come to 1 similarly you come to 1 the power is even so you stay on the same side you come to half 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 comes from here this is odd power is odd this is 1 right so you have to change your side so this becomes the graph so this is plus this is minus this becomes the graph of this uh, question of this uh, whatever uh, question 2x minus 1 into x minus 1 whole square x minus 2 by x minus 4 to the power of 4 this becomes uh, the graph of the question y is equal to this entire part now you have to find here check the question it is given greater than 0 so for greater than 0 i told you earlier you have to take the positive parts that becomes the question so x for this symbol the symbol is this x will belong to what x will belong to minus infinity till half union 2 to 4 union 2 to 4 
union 4 till infinity and the bracket will be this because the sign is only greater than it is not greater than equal to if the sign would have been greater than equal to then you would have got x belongs to this minus infinity always remains like this only till half and you have to include this union 2 can you include no 2 will not be included because i told you x is not equal to 2 initially so this will remain like this only but for can it be included? No, 4 also cannot be included. So this will also remain like this union 4 comma infinity. So this will be the answer for greater than equal to take close note of this. So what we did over here, let us see what will happen if the symbol would have been bit different and the symbol would have been less than 0. So, so for example, if the question would have been less than 0, so this positive, uh, so this is less than 0. So x belongs to over here, this is half, right? So half till 1, not included, be very careful, the sign is less than and not equal to, equal to is not there, so this is less than. So half till 1, union 1 till 2, union 1 till 2. This would have been the answer. If the sign would have been less than equal to 0, what would have been x belongs to half would have been included. 1, yes, 1 would also have been included. So union 1 till 2, 1 is included. 2 would have been included, but 2 was in the denominator part and denominator can never be equal to 0. Yeah, so this would have not been included. So this would have been the answer if this would have been less than equal to zero. So I am stopping the video in this part of wavy curve. We'll see more such questions in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, do share, do subscribe the channel. Thank you so much viewers.